One of the major challenges the world is facing is rapidly aging populations. And Alzheimer is one of the major disease in this group. The disease is about a slow death of the neuron. If I'm able to manipulate some of the neuronal cells, it can help to redress some of these problems. With age, there is a decline in cognitive capacity of people. Dementia is the dreadful disease. What we are doing uh, is to look at the language side of uh, dementia and to discover whether there are any early signs of this disease. One hallmark of the disease is we notice there's a lot of building up of protein aggregate and ultimately will cause death of the neurons. So my lab basically want to identify genes that can help to reduce some of this toxicity in the disease. I hope we can take it further to see whether it can translate into the human. What we are looking for is how a person speaks. <laughs> And then we analyze each word and we use natural language processing tools and see how words are used in different groups of people. We try to focus on the preclinical stage, looking for signs and then devise intervention strategies to slow down the process or hopefully to reverse it. We would encourage students to have some freedom, design the experiment, let them have ownership of the research project. So whenever there's a discovery made, they feel very proud. Frequently, this type of student can make remarkable observations based on their own initiative. It's really fascinating to see that um, the research is going forward and being able to contribute to the science. The students can involve in many different aspects of it, like transcription. Students with linguistic knowledge will also be able to help us. We also like people to know some statistics. Yeah, it is a multidisciplinary research project. I cannot do it all by myself.